Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It's Monday morning. It's a beautiful morning. Leather bag lady weather report. It's still kind of cool, but the sun is shining and it's supposed to get up to 18 degrees today. Am I seeing a cat? No, it's just the sun reflecting off my barbecue cover. It made it look like there was a black and white cat standing beside my shed. Oh my goodness me, I'm seeing things. But yes, it's a beautiful day. i am uh, been to the gym. I'm still all wet and sweaty. But I um, wanted to get this done before I go and pick up my clients. And um, it's still kind of cool out of the sun. So the warmer temps are not going to hit us till later this afternoon. By which time I'm usually finished with my clients. So it's only a couple of hours I visit with them. But you know what? The average person would probably say it's not worth it, but, and probably day to day it isn't, but when I get that paycheck, it is worth it because, um, yeah, like I said, bag sales are, I don't know what's happening. My big three are keeping me going. So, um, anyway, today's bag is, got a little story. So I've had this bag for a long time. And it has been hanging on a cupboard door right here because I did a little restaining of it and it was missing a zipper pull. And I wanted to put um, a tassel or a lace or something on it, but the hole wasn't big enough. That's what he said. <laughs> but it wasn't. It wasn't big enough and I wasn't sure what to do because the lacing that I have wouldn't fit. So I just decided that I would put a decorative zipper pull on it and now it's ready to go. And it is a beautiful, beautiful black bucket bag. Now there is a tag in it, which I never uh, realized because it's black, black on black. So I never even noticed it. And it is made in Canada, this bag. The leather is so supple from being a vintage bag. It's not, um, it, this, this is a bag that's well worn in, which to me is not mad at that at all. It's got a great side zipper that goes to here. So it goes halfway across. So you're going to get a phone in there. You're going to get your keys in there, whatever you want to be able to grab quickly. And it's just a great, it's just a great bag. It's, it's just, when I first picked it up, I thought it was roots. That's the quality of the leather. Um, the, the tag is very faded. I was able to make out, um, made in Canada by, and then whatever. It looked like SAS, which is a very, a functional uh, shoe and bag company for seniors. So I, I don't think that's the case. I've listed it as an 80s bag. There is no foam pouch. There is, there is like a little pattern in the leather, but it there's no initials or anything. There's one zipper pouch here and this uh, external pouch here. And then other than that, Here's the decorative pull. It's a purse. The zipper is beautiful. It is so smooth. One of the... Sm <laughs> All right, we're getting technical now. It's one of the smoothest zippers that I've ever used. And that sounds a little ridiculous, but it is. It is like so smooth. And I do have uh, customers who have arthritic hands, who do have issues with being able to put a little oomph behind opening up the bag. So, you know, that is just a really nice uh, thing. Now, the only thing that I'm not 100% happy with, and if I were to buy this bag, I would do this. There is this kind of felt lining. I'm loving it because it's not cardboard. It's felt, but it is a different color. So if I was to take this bag... I would just run a black marker or some black paint or something 
all the way around because to me it kind of stands out a little bit well I guess maybe it doesn't it just kind of goes in keeping with the lighter saddle stitch I don't know if it was me I would do it and you've got like just a little button accent here so Today's bag, beautiful, 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 beautiful bag. Love it. Love bucket bags. I don't know what it is about bucket bags. I just love them, especially when they've got like a real round base. So that's today's bag. So how was your weekend, everybody? Um, I partied a little too much this weekend. Thursday night I was out. Friday night I was out till very late. I had no hockey game to go to on Friday. I didn't know what the heck to do with myself. But I watched um, Thursday night. I think I told you already. I watched Dirty Dancing. And oh my goodness me, I forgot how great that movie was. And Friday night, I think it was G.I. Jane. Which, um, again. And what's happening is I put all these retro reels on Facebook. And people that I, my family, friends. Oh, that's my favorite movie. I love that movie. And I think... Oh, I wouldn't have thought that was your type of movie. It's so interesting to hear people's comments and what they feel about the movie. And and I think Saturday Night was Wild Things with Neve Campbell and uh, Denise Richards. That was a bit of a weirdo movie. But um, very controversial back in the day, 1998, have two girls kissing in a pool. Ooh! <laughs> now not so much, but... Um, Anyway, so went to Angus's hockey game on Saturday. Poor Angus was not well. He had a chest cold and he was puking and hurting and they lost and then they lost again yesterday. So I don't know. Um, it's a tournament that they're in. So right now they're playing for their position. So they're going to be in the tournament regardless of their uh, results but they don't want to be last and they don't want to be first. They want to be either two or three. So I think unless, well, I don't know. I don't know what the other teams are doing. So, but anyway, he, he looked so ill. He really did look so ill. And then I went out to the judge and whatever it is, the pub downtown Grimsby with a couple of crazy girls. This lady they call Scary Mary. And her friend Linda, oh my goodness me, we had a ton of fun. They were so bombed. Me, no, because I had to drive and I'd had enough Thursday and Friday night. So no drinky poos for me Saturday night or last night. Some of the neighbors tried to get me to go out last night. I'm like, no, can't do that anymore. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. So anyway, yesterday was Mother's Day. I hope you, while well, here in, in Canada, it's Mother's Day. I hope you all had a lovely day. I got a text from my daughter. I just, my mom got a phone call. I didn't, but oh well, that's just the way it is. And probably um, would have been the same with my son, but I went and picked him up and we went to see my mom's new apartment and it's lovely, but oh my goodness me, it's so expensive and I just don't know how that's going to go. But you know what? You got to think positively upwards and onwards, right? So today... Uh, we got three more points on what's his face Christian Dior now before we finish with that I've been working really hard on my dot com to uh, over the weekend So I've got maybe ten more bags To finish the descriptions and the sizes and all that kind of thing and um, I Still haven't a hundred percent decided whether I'm just gonna go live on Friday or I'm going to do a video and only those bags will be live on Friday. I'm trying to set it up so that I can do some of the traveling that I want to do. If I do a live with bags in my hand and those are the bags that are available, then I could be anywhere and still send you your bag if you want to buy it. If I've got a bag that's in my storage room and I'm in Florida, how can I send you that bag? So I'm trying to set it up to set me up for the kind of couple of years I want as I move forward with my life as a single 54-year-old lady. And I'm going to go and do some of the stuff I want to do. So, But I also want to run my business and few few things that are still not settled. There won't be free shipping on my .com. I just can't do it. It's just too expensive. So if people can pick up. 
the shipping is free, obviously. If you want the bag shipped, then it's just going to be you calculating the shipping to your address. So anyway, Friday, that will be live. I've got some thinking to do. Might even go to the falls. I'm not sure, depending on how much I get done. But let's get to Dior. So another three points. Um, he loved plants. Christian Dior. These are just trivia points. They're not all necessarily about his... Uh, bags or whatever and Christian Dior was probably um a little bit more known for his clothing than his purses but he loved outdoors and plants and he got this from his mum um lived in Paris during the prosperous times just after World War One, and he loved the arts and architecture so here we go back to some of the issues that I've had with the art crawl and people not thinking that what I do is art I think anybody would consider a well-constructed Chanel, Dior um, garment that's been handmade art. And like I said before, the bags that I am presenting are not made by me. They've been made by artisans who, for the most part, are no longer with us. I am representing them. And that is my art. Sourcing this stuff is not as easy as you would think. And then refurbishing it and re dyeing it and finding out the history, if there is any to find out. It really is, um, it is art. I mean, I look at a, a racehorse and I see art. It's all in your own perception of what art is. I mean, you see some of these Jackson Pollock, these, you know, just like, you know, splotches on a canvas. Do you think that's art? Maybe you do. I don't. So who's to say? So we'll see on Friday how many conversations I have with people about my art. Anyway, everybody, have a great day. If you're in my neck of the woods, enjoy the sun. If not, uh, go do something for you today. Who cares if it's Monday? Screw Monday. Go and do you. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.